Ba weep gana weep ninivan, and welcome to another edition of the Bibliophiles. Today, of course, is we're going to be talking about Transformers. Now, like G.I. Joe, Transformers G1 cartoon was a little before my time. <clears throat> and, of course, like it, I can recognize that it's <clears throat> a very cool and exciting show, and even more so than G.I. Joe, because, well, uh, well, one thing that I thought was kind of cool is the, the whole... Uh, it's essentially a resource war. They're fighting over resources, whereas even G.I. Joe is just generic bad guy wants to take over the world and generic good guy wants to stop it. These guys are fighting over the Autobots and Decepticons are fighting over sor sources of energy. <clears throat> you know, uh, like there's even like uh, some times where they would like fight each other in oil fields to get the oil, which. When you, and when you so when you think about it from the pers from that perspective from the from the resource war perspective that makes the show surprisingly more relevant than you know now than when it first came out even more so than <coughs> the um, like than the like Michael Bay films especially the Michael Bay movies and but you no know, we're not here to. I'm not going to talk about that any longer right now. I'm going to talk about is um, <clears throat> one thing that kind of bugged me is like they never really talk about how the war began. It's just, you know, it, it, the story starts pretty much right the second they get to Earth or the cartoon's case four million years after they get to Earth. <clears throat> anyway, um, I think there was like a comic book that was made a while back, but I never read it. We've seen it. Anyway, uh, we're talking about um, uh, Transformers Exodus. It's essentially the <clears throat> how the war had begun and you know how it all started. Uh, <clears throat> well, well, it starts. It start, starts pretty interesting. Interesting, like um, you know, the uh, planet Cybertron is like under um, this oligarchy of press of oppression and then like the an Autobot or I mean a, just a Cybertron just a Cybertronian decides to rise up and build a rebellion and you know try and ferment revolution and you know who this is Megatron yes Megatron is actually a good guy at the beginning and you know it's slowly power just corrupts him and so forth them um, and over time, he winds up becoming friends with um, another Transformer, Orion Pax, who later becomes Optimus Prime. And um, what I thought was interesting is, um, well, of course, is that Megatron doesn't start out evil. He starts out wanting to, wanting to, you know, make change for his planet, for his people, and then the. Uh, because, but he slowly becomes corrupted. Well, actually, he feels kind of betrayed by his friend Optimus by deciding to become a prime. And so he eventually just turns on him, thinks he, that Optimus is the problem, or that he's becoming part of the problem. So, and like, he eventually becomes corrupted by power and war and so forth, and becomes, you know, the evil. Jack, evil bastard, we all know and love, <laughs> and and I thought that was pretty cool or pretty interesting. And um, there's like a couple of things that I thought were kind of weird, like a uh, how Optimus Prime actually becomes a Prime. You know, like I I won't get into spo get into much spoilers or anything. But um, <clears throat> kind of feels a little too convenient. Also, um, what I suppose this is kind of a spoiler is uh, like the Autobots spend a lot of the time like just barely surviving by the skin of their not really teeth, but <clears throat> you know, um, and they're always just like this close to being taken taken out. You know, just just barely. 
surviving and like I don't really know how auto how, how the uh, Cybertronians keep time I think there's cycles but I don't really know how that translates to years or whatever but you know anyway um, one thing that is uh, you know, it was like a, it was really interesting, and there's a the sequel called Exiles because well after the whole they have, they do like their war is they begin to go outward so they can you know get help from other dis, other Cybertronians and so oh uh, one thing I'm, one thing I forgot to mention is. Like the why why there are Autobots and Decepticons to, was because you know they're they're just organization names they're not like different species or anything. <clears throat> it's like um it's cy some Cybertronians took the name Autobot because as they auto, as Optimus Prime says like uh you know have, autonomy is like every robot's right or or that, that they should take. And the Decepticons, of course, because they came into being out of deception, your organization. But back to Exiles. <clears throat> um, it goes to the different couple different planets, uh, Velocitron and Junkion, and uh, you know, there's it's okay, I guess, for a sequel, but. Um, <clears throat> And uh, yeah, it's it's just okay. This I'm going to give four out of five because, like I said, there are, you know some stuff is just kind of convenient, like uh, you know, like I said, how Optimus Prime becomes a Prime, um, and how they're always just barely surviving constantly. But they explain a lot of good stuff, like why Megatron. Tron keeps Starscream around despite the fact that he's basically constantly undermining, you know, a little <clears throat> twerp that's constantly trying to usurp Megatron's authority, you know, because he's useful, because and Megatron hates to waste useful things, and you know, so on and so forth. And, or also like how, you know, Devastator and all those other combiner type guys robots came into being. So yeah, four stars and this is about three stars because <clears throat> you kind of have, of course being a sequel, you have to read this to enjoy this. <clears throat> and um, yeah, really mostly you just, you really just have to read the, read Exodus to be able to find, to know what the heck is happening in Exiles. Anyway, um, <clears throat> There's my anyway, like anyway. Um, here's my opinion, and uh, till next time, I'm your host signing off. See ya.